good afternoon good night Sophia we here back with another video today I'm gonna to share with you how I do my breakfast eggs quiche and I start off with lining my pan with a little butter and I will show you the next step okay I have my cream cheese I've been having it sitting out for maybe 30 minutes I'm trying to bring it to room temperature all right next I'm going to saute one small onion this is a sweet onion and i'm going to bring it to it's almost caramelized and then i'm going to set that aside okay y'all i have my onion sauteed and i had my eggs also sitting out to almost room temperature all right next i'm going to cut up some bacon and saute it all right y'all i have my onion sauteed i have my bacon cut up and cooked. I have my cream cheese ready to put into my egg mixture and I'm gonna go ahead and shred my cheese and this is what I used in the egg. Okay, I just wanted to show you how soft my cream cheese is and I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my egg mixture. Okay, I'm gonna mix this up. I did add some green onion. I forgot to put in a little green onion and I might top it actually with some jalapeno peppers, but you'll see that process. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up and then shred my cheese. All right, y'all, I had to change it up. I was trying to mix it with this. That wasn't working, so I had to put it in my magic bullet. And this is what I'm gonna do. So I mixed it in my magic bullet. I added a little, um, whipping cream to my mixture now it's nice and blended nice and smooth i'm gonna go ahead and shred my cheese <laughs> finally get that shredded and i'm gonna put everything together all right i have my cheese all shredded and this is what i used i love this easy to clean easy to handle and i'm gonna go ahead and assemble everything right now all right, y'all, I started out with a little cheese. Um, just so you know, I didn't put a lot of salt in my egg mixture because I have cheese and bacon and that's going to add the salt to it. All right, just want to show you, I have a, a one third cup measuring cup and this is how I'm filling it. You don't want to fill it all the way to the top because you want to give it room to rise. bacon, some cheese, onion, and I'm going to chop up a little jalapeno peppers. Okay, y'all, I had to add a little more egg. So I just scrambled two more eggs and though it wasn't room temperature just to add to my mixture because I think that's gonna be a, a little shallow. So I'm just adding some, just two scrambled eggs. I did put some pepper in it, no salt, because it's already seasoned to my mixture. I don't wanna do all this in it. It's not gonna be enough so just so you know i did add two more eggs i started out with eight eggs and so far in the mixture i had cream cheese heavy whipping cream uh, garlic powder onion powder or granulated onion and granulated garlic um salt a little salt and pepper i have sauteed onion in here i have cheese at the bottom and I have my bacon, and I'm gonna chop up a little jalapenos and put it in just a few, just to see how that will come out. And then I'm gonna top it with the cheese. Okay, I just sliced one jalapeno and just put three slices in these three cups right here, not the whole pan. All right, y'all, this is what it's looking like. I put a little smoked paprika for a little taste and for color, some added color. 
and I'm gonna put it in the oven. I have my oven set on 360. I'm gonna check it after maybe 12 minutes and I'll show you the finished product. Thank you for watching my video. God bless.